Hello and welcome to this video on function prototype. So what is a function prototype? Actually, it's a function declaration without a body and it comes before the main statement. It ensures that calls to a function are made with the correct arguments. So let's do something. So let's move our function to the bottom, all right, so that we can see it properly. And now that we are declaring the function, let me give it just one value. So normally, this function is going to accept two parameters, right? But I'm going to pass in just one parameter. Then I will save and run. Let's see what happens. As you can see, our function still runs. Hello, precious, you're welcome. But then for my age, because I did not pass in age, it gave me so it gave me it just gave me a value. I don't know where it's getting this value from. And this is wrong. You know why? Because if our function is not getting the right number of arguments, it shouldn't run. And that is one of the things that the function prototype is going to solve. So for function prototype, all you need to do is just to declare that same function at the top, but without the body. Okay? So we say function void greeting. Then the parameters is supposed to accept. So let me just copy these guys here. And now let's try to rerun this function. And as you can see, our function did not run anymore because we've used a function prototype. So as you can see, it ensures that cost with function are made with the correct argument. But now if I put in the right argument, let's say age of 70. And I run this now. You can now see that our function runs correctly. So that is it on function prototype, but some important notes. Many C compilers do not check for parameter matching, you see? And that was why our code ran previously. And you see, it's not a good one because missing arguments will result in unexpected behavior, whereby it gives you gibberish as a return. And also, a function prototype is going to cause the compiler to flag error if arguments are missing so you see why you should use it now advantages with function prototype it is easy to navigate your program with your main function at the top so if you have this main function at the top of your program it's going to be very easy for you to you know navigate around to know what you have inside of that program and also it helps you with debugging and function prototype are commonly used in edda files so when you encounter edda files you would know why function prototypes are used frequently so guys that is it on this video on function prototype i'll see you in the next one cheers